Hello, this is Amit from Digital Inspiration and this is a demo of Email Scheduler. It is an add-on for Google Spreadsheets that will help you delay messages in Gmail and send them later at your preferred date and time. So here are the main features of the Email Scheduler. You have one-time messages, so you write an email, specify the schedule and it will be delivered at your preferred date and time. You can also send uh, repetitive emails with the scheduler that go out on a recurring basis. It, they could go out hourly, daily, weekly or even monthly. You can even set up more complex rules. So for instance, you can set up an email that goes out every second Saturday of the month. The email scheduler can also track your messages so you'll know if the recipient has read or opened your message or not. And finally, you can schedule your messages and turn off your computer and the messages will still go out because the scheduler runs on Google servers. So it will even work while your computer is off or you are offline. So now that you know the main features of the add-on, let's see how to install it. So this is very simple. You follow this link labnol.org slash scheduler and install the add-on. Now this add-on is compatible with both Gmail and Google Apps accounts. If for some reason this add-on is not working for your Google Apps accounts, there is a likelihood that some setting is disabled in your Google Apps account. So for that to work, you can ask your Google Apps admin to enable Drive Apps inside Google Apps. Okay, now let's get started. The first thing you need to do is create a couple of draft messages in your Gmail account. Now this is required because th these are the messages that we will be scheduling later through the email scheduler. So I go to my Gmail account and I create a draft. Uh, let's say I want to wish my friend a happy birthday uh, and uh, I want to compose the message now because I would be traveling on that day. So I'll just write the message now and uh, schedule it and it will automatically be delivered on her birthday. Now some people have multiple accounts that are uh, linked to the same Gmail account through aliases. So in case you want to send a particular message from a different account, you can go to the uh, message header and choose a different email address from the from field. So now that my email is ready, uh, the only thing I need to take care of is not hit the send button because I don't want this email to go out immediately. I want to schedule it later. So. Once the email is ready, I'll just click the close button and let this draft stay inside my Gmail drafts folder. I will not send it. Let me write another email message now. Now this time I'm writing an email to remind people that they need to fill in the appraisal form at the uh, before the weekend starts. So I'll just write the message and I'll also attach a PDF document to this uh, email message. So now that my drafts are ready, I'll switch to the Google spreadsheet and because we have installed the add-on, so if you go to the add-ons menu, uh, you'll see a new option called email scheduler. I'll choose that and under that menu, I'll choose a configure. Now when you run this for the first time, what this does is it turns your uh, Google spreadsheet into a starter template for the scheduler. So basically all the scheduler activity will be logged in here. Now this will come handy tomorrow because if you want to see what messages are scheduled or why something is not working, we can use these logs. But for the moment, let's focus on the right sidebar. If you click this drop down, you'll find a list of all draft emails that exist in your Gmail account. I can pick any of these messages and click the schedule button to specify the sending date and time for that message. Now please remember that all messages are scheduled in the time zone of your browser. So for instance, I'm in India and all these messages are scheduled in the India time zone. However, if you're in a different region or a different time zone, the messages, the times will be as per your uh, browser's time zone. Okay, coming back to this message, I only want to send this message once. So I'll choose do not repeat uh, for the recurring option. And uh, I want to get a read receipt. So I want to know when this message has been read. So I'll turn on the option that says track email opens. 
Now Gmail will send this message anytime within plus minus 15 minutes of the actual schedule time. I'm all set so I'll click the schedule button to put this message in the sending queue. So the message has been successfully scheduled and you can find that from the logs as well because a new entry has been added. Now let me try to schedule the other message that we have for the appraisal form reminders. So to get started I'll pick that message from the drop down and hit the schedule button. Now this time I'll specify a recurring schedule. I want this message to go out uh, on let's say every week on the Thursday at 3.30 pm so I'll set the schedule accordingly. So you've seen how easy it is to schedule messages with the scheduler. Now if you want to remove a message from the scheduled queue, you can just hit cancel against the scheduled message. And if you want to edit the schedule of a message, just hit the edit button and specify a different sending date or time. Let me show you one more feature of the scheduler. If you go to the add-ons menu and under email scheduler, you'll find an option to duplicate drafts. Now what this does is it takes any draft in your Gmail message and creates multiple copies of that draft. So you select any of your existing draft messages from the drop down then choose the number of uh, copies that you wish to create and then click the duplicate button. What this will do is it will create multiple copies of that draft and save them into your Gmail mailbox. So you can go back to your Gmail account edit the draft, maybe change the recipient's address, the subject or the body and then uh, schedule those new drafts through the scheduler itself. Let me show you one last thing. Uh, if you have enabled tracking, you can go to the email scheduler add-ons menu and choose the email open report and this will show you a list of all the emails that have been sent through the scheduler and they have been opened by the recipient. So you get to see the time when they opened the email as well as their um, IP address and the browser that they used to open your email. So that was a quick demo of the email scheduler. I'm sure you'll find it useful. Head over to labnol.org slash scheduler to install it in your Google account now. I would also like to introduce Mail Merge. It's an add-on for Gmail that helps you send personalized emails to a large group of people with very little effort. You can find the add-on at labnol.org slash merge. If you need support or if you're looking to do more cool things with Google add-ons, visit my website controlq.org. Thanks.